The aircraft behind me is the Boeing 747-80 Intercontinental, and it just landed here at the Paris Air Show, making its international debut. It is the longest commercial aircraft ever built, and the largest ever built by Boeing, with a maximum takeoff weight of 975,000 pounds. This particular aircraft is called RC-001. It is the first of two test aircraft that are being used to prove out the new Dash 8i, which will be eventually delivered to the end of the year to a Boeing business jet customer. Come on board as we take you inside the, the new passenger aircraft, which will eventually hold up to 467 seats. Welcome aboard the 747-8i. We're here at the nose of the aircraft, and behind me, usually reserved for premium passengers, are water ballast tanks used to shift the aircraft's center of gravity back and forth during different types of testing. Above it, you'll see 787-inspired bins and LED lighting that really is used to change the mood of the passengers and really improve the flying experience. Welcome to the economy class section of this aircraft. If you look over my shoulder, the 747-8i seems to go on forever and ever. It is 17 feet longer, or 5.6 meters longer, than the aircraft it replaces, the 747-400. Right now, in the place of standard economy seats, we see flight test equipment racks used to monitor all the different sensors and instrumentation spread across this test aircraft. When this aircraft leaves here, it'll head back to Seattle to continue its testing for certification and delivery sometime at the end of the year. The most frequent question I get asked in my job about test aircraft is what is the little cone hanging off of all of Boeing test aircraft? Well, that little cone measures the static pressure of the air around the aircraft and compares it to really calibrate the air aircraft airspeed. This is not a hamster wheel. This actually is the device that's used to extend and retract the cone from the aircraft. We're here at the back end of RC-001, and above me is the aircraft's massive horizontal stabilizer. It's a bit different from the version on the freighter model, as it holds an additional 3,300 gallons of fuel to make sure that the aircraft can perform its long-range missions. Just beneath it, you'll see a metal fitting that you won't see on any passenger aircraft. This particular fitting is used to hold in place the, the oak block that's used for the minimum unstick test to test the aircraft's minimum unstick speed during its uh, stability and control trials that's been undergoing for the last several months. That should really underscore how this aircraft is really different from the models that we'll see in service and how it really is a test aircraft right now.